are starting our day with a delivery of tons of games from Automated. Again. And again, listen, we have to keep Mike, he's the uh, head guy at Automated, happy. Although I'd like to have him killed at some point. But no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. You know, Mike's trying to sell more games than me. What do you think, Jonathan? You better not see this footage. Anyway, I understand Elvis is in the truck. Should we have some fun with him? Should we have some fun with him? And then we got to get these games in. Right, let's go into the truck. <sighs> Poor Elvis. He was telling me that Michael really has him overworked. <sighs> it's really bad. Michael just has him all caught up in all kinds of things. You know, I almost think... Michael's got you so busy, I almost think you're caught in a trap. How are you gonna go on? Easy. Why can't you see? What you do? Michael's not going to like this. <laughs> and we hit the 29 second mark of the copyright. Uh, uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh no. Listen, we can't have fun doing these videos. We're not going to do them anymore. Oh, I had to come over here and help. I'm exhausted. Listen, don't hurt me. Don't worry, the meeting of madness, because that's going out Monday. I'm exhausted. I had to get another cup of coffee. Anyway, let's see how these idiots are doing. Uh, you're not done yet? Can you move? No. Almost done. You gotta remember, we gotta take those pilots back to Mike, otherwise he'll choke the living crap out of me. He would. You're lucky because I'm gonna choke the living crap out of Oh, that can boy. I get out of the way then? <laughs> Where, what are we gonna do with all these things? Fire sale. Shuffle alley, shuffle alley, shuffle alley, shuffle alley. Uh, it's still not done. He's still eating, coffee, right. pooping. Look, plenty of cardboard. Thanks to Jonathan and Scotty, plenty of pallets. Thanks to Michael. Listen, just tell Michael we're keeping the pallets. Listen, Michael's watching this. I'm not stupid. Michael told me to say those horrible things about him. Because this is like a reality show, right? This is like a reality show, right? Yes, Okay. much. Okay. We're just not getting any salary for the reality show. Two more. And then we'll be Good. Now, how was Michael in the pallets? <laughs> hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, we have a lot of a lot of games are going out this week, but I think it's time to go back to the shop. Elvis has officially left the building. Let's go up front and get working on these games. Another break, huh, Wallace? You can't hide from my camera. Okay, Frank. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> can't hide from my camera. He wants to know what to do next. You're going home soon, right, Wallace? No, it's only 10 after 4. Are you kidding? I got so many games to do and make your head swim. Another Ghostbusters premium is going out. So we just did the mod. And then we're going to show you this medieval madness. And then we. Oh, that's. The new code is 1.1. 1 .1. I don't know. This is a remake, a medieval madness remake. And this has a, a, quite a few mods since it came out. So. Uh, oh, there's boards in there. Yes, it's packed with circuit boards. <laughs> the mod plugs right in there. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'll show you us updating it. How's that? Okay. 
Well, it's done. It's officially a 2.031? 2. Right? 2.4372. Like but it still comes up with the old Williams revision, yeah. which is 1.0, but that's the Williams number. So that's your Williams revision, but it has nothing to do with our new system revision. So this way, our customer has all the little, I guess, the little tweaks done. Took it, how long did it take to upgrade? About half an hour? Two and a half hours. <laughs> well, he had to figure it out. Because it uses a mini, mini car. Okay, so it's time to upgrade the car. This guy is waiting patiently for his beautiful game. Now the customer can buy the color display, I think, for that upgrade. Okay. Well, Frank, I think we better load it. Guess what? You're going to have to deliver it. Those idiot boys left. This guy is going to have a mini stroke if he doesn't get it. Anyway, we got more stuff to show you. Nice. Another one. Another one going out. We just need the cards printed. We have to print instruction cards. Not sure what happened. The game looks beautiful, though. doesn't it? Good. Nice. I think we've done videos of this before. Yeah, I got the skill shot. A much desirable game now. Everybody wants this game. And you can see why. There's so much to do on it. Tons of toys. I thought that was so clever of them to alert the casual player where the next shot was. Of course, we have it. Whose idea was this to put this on an uneven plate? You're good. I, I think a lot of you realize so they didn't get sued. He he turns randomly. He doesn't turn uh, connected to any switch motion. That was uh, all that did look like. When I went this side, he turned that way. When he went that side, he turned that way. No, I guess not. Just notice that there. They put green uh, stickers, green LEDs in our towers here. Really kind of neat. It's sort of like reminiscent of the old Simpsons. So. Very nice team. We're not being very fair today, are we? game does not like being on this angle. And I'll just briefly show you this. This is one. You know, before and after are always pretty sharp. See how nice uh, Steven restored the uh, tea molding, uh, the artwork. This is that new black and gray. Uh, there's an as is, untouched, ugly. And now this beautiful game all done. It's nice. But now I want to show you a real treasure. Jason is going all out on this one. This is a 77 Blackjack. This one is our first one lit with the super bright LEDs. And Jason also added a couple of neat effects right here. He put these uh, LED pads behind the targets. These were, there were never any lights over here, and he felt that was a really needed thing, and I thought that was a really great idea. Also, our cards in the center are different colors. So we have the green on the top and the orange on the bottom, the dealer's hand are orange. Doesn't that look really nice? And look at the color choices back here. I thought this was exceptionally well done. And our bally and the word blackjack are with our blinker bulbs, courtesy of Comet Pinball. And the other places we've got the 
the LEDs from. We stock a lot of different LEDs, don't we, Jason? Yes, sir. Jason is now working on this uh, comet, and he's just trying to figure out some neat things to do. So not only do we have all these LEDs here, but we have boxes and boxes of them. Wow. He did that on purpose, didn't he? This is going to be special. special the like most beautiful time fantasy on planet Earth. All right, let's finish with Mr. Blackjack. Well, who could that be? Kurt? 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 Kurt's still in bed. It's 10 of 10 in the morning. Now, these are the soft uh, color, so it doesn't spot. There, you can see there's our blinker bulbs in the center. Back here, it's nice and clean, all laid out with the, the anti-flicker board from um, Alltech. Uh, Frank's battery board, you can now order. They're $12.99, $13.99 plus delivery. Tax and freight. Plus tax and freight. But the nice thing is you don't have to put the diode in it. You don't have to, you just have to put two solder points in your board to put that on. And you'll save your board from 20 years from today when you go and sell your game or your kids sell the game. You won't have to deal with a ruined board because of the battery damage. Uh, we flipped our fuse block up top. Our fuse is here so we can use standard size fuse. Capacitors, two new capacitors. That's been reheated. New bridges here. New edge connectors. Uh, that connector on the bottom always fries. You see, it will never fry now ever again because everything is driven by LEDs, which use so much ele less electricity. Nothing gets really hot. And look at this cabinet. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Now, the customer getting this He's trading in a Jack's open he got from us a year ago. <clears throat> Every year he trades in a pen and gets something different. But he wanted something more classic. All right, here we go. Dealer has dealt his hand. And these rollovers here will light our pop as we get them out. And they're random, so we never know what's going to happen. But they also advance the bonus and change your player's hand. Your spinner here, okay? When that's lit, you get a thousand, but see, watch. Every time you pass this part, you also advance your bonus, see? Right? You keep going higher and higher. Now, this hole here, you'll get two times. We'll bring our screw up to two times if we go in there. But, only if you're winning. Now, just like in blackjack, the player wins over the dealer. But see, right now, the player's going to lose. So I have to hit one of four targets to change those and also roll these things. These things are constantly moving. You can see, look. See? Constantly changing your hands. And now, right here, the player is ahead. Player wins. I got this time. Still the legend. <sighs> we only need another two minutes. All right, go ahead on that. I'll go smoke a cigarette. Two minutes. Smoke a pack. <laughs> Take a nap. Okay. I guess we can walk by this mess. Actually, this has got the factory mylar on it. Here it's in really good shape. Yes. Lucky us, factory mylar. Anyway, we're almost done, Wallace. So anyway, player will lose. So you go in the hole, you still get some points. You're not going to get your 3x. So you've got to get up there, match the hand at least, and then 
has a fortitude to shoot your ball at. Okay, I'm up to three times. Then, remember, the player wins five times. And now our favorite spot. That's right. That's right. And the most important one of all. Listen. As usual, when we work on these games, the knocker coil was not in it. Uh, people rob the knocker coils out of most of these games when they need a coil for something else. Because it's the same number in most cases. And then they never put it back in. So, I would say half the games we get in that weren't ours originally, there's no knocker coil. Now look, we also put our washers, our clear washers, to protect the perfect plastics. The plastics are actually really nice. It's a bit faded, but they're very nice. Ah, it's a really nice game, isn't it, Scott? What do you think? The customer will be happy? Mm -hmm. I think he will. I think he will. And I think it's pretty clean on the inside, too. Look, no glass. Look at how clean on the inside. And let me show you what we did here. We have our new endostroke switches, new plungers and links. Steve Young has those. And of course, all the coil sleeves are new too. So the game is playing pitch perfect. Cabinet switches are always new. Almost every game we get in, nobody has touched or addressed the cabinet switches. They are changed, brand new. So uh, we think, uh, but True to this fellow's typical operation, I suspect, I suspect this customer uh, will probably trade this in with him here. Oops. Everybody likes it. Boof. And that drops down. See how nice and clean everything is. Even hand wired like this without the circuit boards, everything's laid out nice and neat. Well, Scott, I think we're ready ready to be packed up so we can move on to the next game. On the last day, I'll pick up three games. I'll tell the boys. Any other time he leaves his notes. No note. Let me tell you, on a one to ten, the word worthless. I think you should go this one? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually load into this. The um, shuffle alley. Anyway, I started I started my train of thought. Out of a one to ten, ten being the most the greatest person in the world, and one being the most worthless. What do you think my rating is of you right now? Ten. Always ten. Right? Did you know that Scotty is so popular, he did a delivery last night, and the guy actually knew how many pounds Scotty lost? And my name. And his name. So tell me, if you know how many pounds Scotty's lost since he started his diet, comment to it right now for us okay and i'll tell you if you're right you have to be pretty good if you've been watching our videos what do you think oh by the way how many how many pounds do you think i've lost mm. you weren't supposed to say how much i blooped it out mm. you gained my now thing? how many how many pounds do you think i've lost you gained what i've lost <sighs> do you see what i put up with all right, let's Look, get they're this. Not, they're not actors. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, what about me? They're characters. Look, just came in a party zone. Kids go nuts for that. And we got a jacks to open in. Somebody bought the big guns. That's already gone. Uh, we have a teed off. This is going out, but we got to get this shuffle out. So you saw the video a little earlier today. And Steven is still time fantasying. This better be done. This is like your 12th hour of this young man. He loves it when I do that. And Jason is taking a much needed break. And he is working special new stuff never done before in this comet. So we have some treats. You're gonna see that 
soon. All right, let's get this thing loaded so we can move on to another game. Wallace, you're still wandering around aimlessly. Busy shop. Frank, I'm going to need some assistance. Jonathan went up front. And I wanted to show these two games back here so we can get these boxed up. You're holding that camera yourself Yeah, but I, it strikes and spares. I want to show another one that went out, Frank. This one um, we thought was a Bally strikes and spares because a JP came and picked up one. And I thought we were getting a strikes and spares Bally in, but we got another Gottlieb. So we've given this a similar treatment, including lighting the holes. This was not on the factory mod. And. Um, I asked Jason to put lights in there. Uh, a good customer of ours is buying this. And I told him it would look just as nice, if not nicer. Yeah. Got the LED lighting up here. Now, this is interesting. That's not general illumination. It's actually hooked up to the computer controlled lights. But the game doesn't seem to flash them. I'm not sure if it does it in the I think it does. I don't know. It looks like it's flickering in the camera, but you can't yeah. see it. But uh, it just lights these lights up. Each of them are individually fired. But the computer doesn't seem to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Hear that sound? The game is counting the balls. Yeah. The game is trying to sort things out because it wants to make sure there's enough balls in the play. And every two minutes it'll do that. The problem is, is there was an update to take balls out. Now here's how the game was originally designed. It's supposed to have four balls here, and then you'd have th uh, three on this side that don't get played. Well, here's what happened. When the game, when this ball would roll down, in some locations, it would hit this just hard enough that it would make this ball pop out prematurely. Okay? So the factory said to only have three balls here and one here. But see, the software, even though this is running a six revision, the software is still trying to find four. So, when you change the battery, which is like every five years or so, you have to let four balls cycle through the machine so the computer says, ah, there's four balls and all is well. You will never have to worry about it again until you change the battery again. So once again, three balls, three balls there, and we put one or two here. And you don't have to put three. But it doesn't get easier than that. And guess what? There's 750 of these made, not 600. I made an error. Hmm. Great game. Start it. We'll play Flash. How's that? Frank, you don't have any idea how, how I play bowling at all. Here, watch. First, we launch a ball. Now, you catch the ball and you wait. Fire it up when the red lights go. Now, if I get a spare, I'll get 500 points. I did, Frank, 500 points. Well, I'm gonna get 100, now watch. If I get a spare, I'll get 400 points. Oh, I just got nine points. This is true, flash bowling, uh-oh. If I get a spare, Frank, I'll get 400 points. Frank, I'm going downhill fast. Oh! How am I going to get that? Right, let's see if I can get it. Ah. Now, if you'll notice how that happened, I clipped it just at the right point on these switches, and the game was very kind enough to give me the shot kind enough on that. I think I play better with my other hand. I'm going to start, oh. start bowling. Yeah, I'm going to start bowling with my left hand. Oh, so maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay. I did notice the game will not let you bowl anymore until it's figured out where everything is and it's awarded the right score. Let's see why this is very, very catchy. Especially if you don't have room for the bigger shuffle eye that you saw earlier. If you don't have nine foot, or a six five shuffle, then four and a half foot you have room for. 
the problem is there's only so many things out there. Like on that dazzling, you have the super bright LEDs for the uh, flashbacks. That noise meant it was the 10th frame. Frank, I got one last shot. This is it. It'll let me put my initial in because we erased all the high scores. So. I think I'll like it. All right, let's go to the Simpsons party pinball. We had to do a ROM revision and also change the battery. I see the new battery cell up there. Frank hasn't made his button battery, so we had to do a drill hole. Yeah, I will. But Between who, midnight and 6 a.m. during my free time. But who did this? Who hung this up? Comic book guy. This is our old battery. Started 19 uh, November 19, of 08. That's when we sold this game originally, and we were using these batteries, the lithiums. It was the first one. Uh, Gottlieb actually was the first one to use lithiums, I guess, in games. But I was the second since '99. Frank, I think we single-handedly. Greetings, darling. I think we single-handedly saved hundreds of games from battery damage. Now, everybody has finally... So I will. Uh, Frank, I'll let you get back to work. Come on up uh, front. Let me give the camera to Jonathan because we have our last game to show you. Another Ghostbusters. All right, Jonathan. Another Ghostbusters. Premium. A go-go. We're selling more than Stern did. Just kidding. All right, so this is going to have to get the upgrade. Jonathan just opened it up. Let me look. Oh, this is that really... Here, Jonathan, hold this. I think... Wouldn't you love it if Stern put this, this wonderful flyer on a poster? I would buy this and hang on my wall. Every single band starting... Every single game starting with Laser War. Right up through Ghostbusters. Isn't this a wonderful, wonderful flyer? Man, this is... Look at all the games they made, Jonathan. Wow, that's really great, isn't it? <sighs> Who's playing? Anybody in here? The, me the Mega Touch is done. Look, victory. Just traded in luck. We sold it in 2006. Now, the nice thing is, is this one will get the drop targets and the LED upgrade when somebody orders it. Now, timeline is finished, it's ready, but uh, the play field's ready. But we haven't done the cabinet yet. We're waiting for an order. How come nobody's ordered it yet, Jonathan? Mm. How come nobody's ordered it? How come all these games are still here? If something doesn't happen soon, I'm going to go bankrupt. Oh, I hear space figures. Oh, I see no ball, Jonathan. Where's the ball? Right there. Oh, there it is. No wonder nobody buys this. Every single light on the play field is out. Every single one. Looks like Walt's gonna be busy tonight. I still have time to, to work on the games. I see he's got the back door off the game. Oh, he's working on a Miss Pac Man. He's working on that. <sighs> Jonathan, how are we going to get all this stuff done by Christmas? Oh, oh he's got that cocktail open. <clears throat> we had a run on Miss pac -Man, so he's working on Miss pac -Man boards now for something. Well, let's get this updated. I forget you got to do that. Oh, and yes, this has to get the mod. <coughs> Look, just turn the light on on the camera. Well, it, it's pretty far away. You have to push it twice, bright eyes. There we go, and then it stays on. But see, if this bends somehow, it could touch it. But it's pretty far away, but we will do the mod on this now that it's open. I hear the Ghostbusters music. 
Good night.